Hi there, this is Alvin with kickstartcommerce.com and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you um, how to add the last modified timestamp to post and pages using a simple WordPress plugin. And so one of the big topics that has been talked about in regards to search engine marketing and just search ranking results is the ability for search engines to understand when um, your date your data rather is uh, or rather a blog post or page has been updated it's believed that if you update um, your content on a consistent basis so either on a monthly basis or quarterly basis it is believed that that provides greater search ranking or boost search ranking uh, results and so one of the ways that you can actually add a last modified timestamp to your users as well to inform your users as well as inform search engines is using this simple plugin that I'll show you and so I'm using a local host uh, WordPress setup here um, and so it's just a vanilla plain Jane vanilla installation of WordPress so go ahead and log in and go to your WordPress dashboard admin and within that admin go ahead and go to plugins and then we'll click add new and once you get to the plugins what you'll do is search for last modified timestamp and that plugin should show up here momentarily as it searches uh, the WordPress repository for it um, and there it is and so you have last modified timestamp and then you have a, a bunch of others I choose to use the last modified timestamp as it's the most popular as of, of uh, today. So we will click to install it and then once it installs there should be a blue activate button. Go ahead and click that activate button and that will go ahead and it will activate the uh, last modified timestamp there. And so um, Obviously, you can see it says that this plugin adds information to the admin interface about when each post slash page was last modified, including custom post types so like downloads, attachments, etc. And so now the good thing is you can actually use this little short code that they provide here, this last modified uh, short code in your content. And so that being said, um, what we'll do is now go to our front end here and we'll go to a recent post I'll just choose to use hi there as the post and I'll click and you can see there's the date that it was actually uh, created on which is January 15 2018 we'll click edit and then within edit uh, what we'll do you'll see here now it says last modified on January 15th and then it gives that time so what we'll do now is we'll click enter and we'll just say something like last modified and then we'll copy and paste that short code in there and then we'll click update and then we'll come back and see exactly that you can see here that it was last modified on May the 25th 2018 um, at 7.50 p.m. Now, a lot of times you'll see this type of a feature. So if we go back to the post, we'll open up another window so that you can actually see what it looks like. So there's our create date. There's the last modified timestamp. So oftentimes you'll see something like this used on a site, uh, typically like a news site like uh, US, US Today or News Today, uh, CNN.com. Uh, Washington Post um, a lot of these sites will state an explicit hey this was when it was created uh, and then follow up with this is when it was last updated or modified and so that does a lot in terms of helping search engines remain fresh or know that hey since the last time you indexed this uh, it's been updated it's been changed or modified in some form or fashion and so I highly encourage uh, you know folks to to make use of this especially if you're operating um, you know a, a news or a media website whereby you update content on a regular basis 
And so with that, that's it for this tutorial. I hope if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below the video. Also, please feel free. Please, please, please subscribe um, to my YouTube channel. I basically publish a video every month about cert, I mean, every week, every Wednesday to be exact, about search marketing, um, WordPress tips and tricks, and then the main name investing strategies that help grow your business. So please, again, subscribe to my YouTube channel as well as visit kickstartcommerce.com. And in the right hand side, go to the sign up for the daily scoop newsletter um, where i share with you again search marketing wordpress fixes tips and tricks and then domain name strategies to help grow your business so with that that concludes this tutorial thanks and that's all for now